Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I got a really good question from a viewer the other day who left a comment for me asking me to detail when I like to fish a spinnerbait versus a swim jig. They felt that they were very interchangeable baits and wanted to know when I personally like to throw one versus the other. And it's a great, great question. Uh, honestly, they are very interchangeable baits. I love a spinnerbait and I love a swim jig. So I figured since I was out here throwing a spinnerbait and a swim jig, I would uh, kind of just detail when I like to throw one versus the other. You know, the first and foremost, watercolor is a big factor for me. Generally in clear water, I prefer a swim jig. Uh, I don't always like the flash of a spinnerbait. In fact, in clear water, a lot of times I'll uh, I'll color the blades. You know, I'll take a Sharpie marker and just make them black just to kind of tone down that flash. You don't have to worry about that with a swim jig. A swim jig doesn't have that, that built-in flash. So from that standpoint, watercolor is one of the first things. If I'm fishing really muddy water, I definitely prefer a spinnerbait. Or a spinnerbait. If I'm fishing clear water, generally prefer a swim jig and if it's in between like this is where you got you know a two foot of water uh, visibility or less i think both have a can play really really well from a cover standpoint i a spinner bait to me is a much better bait if you've got a bigger area of uh, like lay down trees and stuff you know in this case i'm sitting here in five feet of water this big tree sticks out you know you get a lot of times your big lay downs from that standpoint i really like to throw a spinner bait because i don't 100 percent know where the fish is going to be they could be anywhere in this and a lot of times they're suspended off the tips of them where you might have some bait and if that's the case a spinner bait just tends to draw more strikes for me away from the cover so i really like that you know if i'm fishing say a rock flat or i'm fishing a stump flat i do really like the spinner baits for that but as I look down the bank, now I start getting a cut bank. Well, a spinner bait, I can throw a spinner bait to the edge, but I'm going to tend to get into the, into the grass and I'm going to prove myself wrong. And I just caught one. But the point is, so that fish to me is much more accessible with a swim jig. Now, obviously I still caught it with the spinner bait. The problem is the spinner bait is an exposed hook. So when I threw it up in there, I actually popped the bait out where it ended up, you know, the fish bit it a foot and a half from the cover. In this case, I'll take the swim jig and actually fish it just like a jig and I can work it real slow right off the edge and then go into my retrieve. So I'm getting the swim jig much, much tighter without getting stuck. You know, if I've got the lay down, it's a lot easier for me to skip the swim jig to where I think the fish are gonna be. Uh, it just allows me to put it in the cover that much better. Now, obviously, if I'm fishing a big grass flat, to me, a swim jig is a much better option because the, the spinner bait is gonna get caught up. It's gonna get grass all up. There's one. It's gonna get grass all up on there. But that was a perfect example with this chunky bass of why I like the swim jig, like the core tackle swim jig in guilty pleasure. You know, that fish, God, that's a fat little fish. So that fish was sitting under the grass and I literally threw my bait into the grass and popped it right off the edge and then I can let it sink. Oh, there's another one. I can't do that with a spinner bait. Now that fish I might've caught with the spinner bait. This is, these fish are not paid actors either. Uh, so it's one of those things where if I'm fishing grass or fishing cover where I can't fish the, the spinner bait clean, I got to go with the swim jig. The swim jig is one of the most weedless baits out there. Now, the other thing I'll say is if I'm trying to fish really tight to those lay down trees, I might have to go with the swim jig because the swim jig is going to be the bait that uh, allows me to get it through there clean on a much more regular basis. Yeah, there was another one. If I'm fishing the spinner bait, you know, a random lay down here or there, I'll definitely throw the spinner bait in there. But if I'm fishing lay downs all day and that's the bite, I'm going to go with the swim jig 
because it'll come through cleaner. Random lay down here or there, you definitely work the spinner bait through it. But if you're doing it heavy, really heavy cover all day long, you're probably gonna run into some issues. Um, so a lot of it just comes down to how efficiently can I fish the baits? You know, big grass flat for sure swim jig. If I'm fishing more uh, open cover, more, uh, you know, a rock flat or, you know, ed ed weed line edges, things like that where I know my spinner bait's gonna come through clean, I can definitely throw the spinner bait. Now, the other big thing you wanna take into account is what what is the main forage for the fish? So, you know, in this case, I've kind of got two separate fish forage species going on here. There's a lot of bluegills here where I'm fishing, and those bluegills are gonna be uh, tight up to the bank generally, more around the cover. And then there's a lip that comes down probably halfway between me and the boat, and that lip drops off. And on that lip is where you've got a lot of shad, or either shiners really is what we have here. But you have the, you know, that's where a lot of your shad will be if you're down south. And from that standpoint, if I'm getting the fish on that lip, a spinner bait to me is a much better bait. If I'm getting bluegill eating fish, I think a swim jig is better because a lot of times your bluegill are going to be more isolated. They're going to be more on their own. You know, yes, you'll have areas that are loaded with them, but it's not going to necessarily be uh, like a giant ball of bait fish would be for those fish that I think you're better off using a, a spinner bait with. So those are kind of my reasonings. Uh, obviously, so like I said, you know, the forage is a main player. Your your shad, your shiners, you know, the, your silvery colored bait fish, I think a spinner bait is much better at. Uh, if you're throwing bluegill, I think a swim jig, but that's really what I'm looking at. Watercolor, cover that I'm fishing, forage that I'm fishing. Uh, you know, from a time of year, water temperature standpoint, I feel like a lot of that's the same. You know, I do think, uh, I think a spinner bait for me works better in the fall than a swim jig. So like this would be a spot where, again, I just caught that one on the swim jig, but this to me looks like a better spinner bait spot just because of how it sets up. That fish was not on the grass, that fish was up. So then I'll pick up the spinner bait and I'll start seeing if I can get some bites that are out a little bit more. Um, but Jen, what I was saying is in the in the fall, I think a spinner bait tends to work better than a swim jig. But early in the season, I actually feel like a swim jig works better. And a lot of that is just how the fish set up. You know, early in the year, you get a lot of fish that are pushing back into really shallow flats like your mud type stuff. And a swim jig comes through that cover better. Uh, in the fall, a lot of your fish are relating to hard targets, hard cover, uh, and they're keying more on, on your bait fish and some bigger size bait fish. And from that standpoint, your spinner bait's better. So hopefully this answers your question, guys. Both are great baits. Two of my absolute favorites. As you can see, you catch fish on them both. And uh, if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, we'll have a new video coming out tomorrow for you.